I'm Sally Cole with Story Hour Academy, and this is our lesson about the multi-letter phonogram DGE. The DGE phonogram makes the same sound as the letter J. J. The DGE phonogram only follows a short vowel sound. Thus, when a word ends with the sound of J, J, it will usually be spelled with the DGE phonogram because English words don't end in J. Get out a paper and pencil. Let's write the DGE phonogram three times while saying the sound that it makes. D G E says J again D G E says J and D G E says J next let's write six one syllable words with the DGE phonogram. First word is fudge. Fudge starts with a F that says F. Then you have a U that makes the short U sound a. Uh. And then you have the DGE phonogram that says J. F a uh, J. Say it fast, fudge. Next word, badge. You have the B that says B, the A that makes a short A sound A, ah. then you have the D, G, E phonogram that says J, B, A, ah, J. Say it fast, badge. Next word, judge. Here you have the J that says J, a U that makes the short U sound A, uh, and a D, G, E. That says J, J, A, uh, J. Next word, hedge. You have the H that says H, E that makes the short E sound E, eh. and a D, G, E that says J, H, E, uh, J. Say it fast, hedge. Next word, bridge. Bridge starts with the B that says B, and then an R that says R, an I that makes the short I sound I, and then the D, G, E phonogram that says J, B, R, I, J. Say it fast, bridge. And last we have pledge. Pledge starts with a P that says P, then an L that says O. A E that makes the short E sound E, eh. and then the D G E phonogram that says J, P O E eh, J. Say it fast. Pledge. Now let's write five multisyllable words with the D G E phonogram. In multisyllable words, when a syllable ending in D G E is followed by a syllable beginning with a vowel, such as ed, er, et, ing, or e, the e in dge is dropped. I'll show you what I mean. Write the word judge. That's j, u, d, g, e. Now we want, let's say we want to add the syllable ed to judge to make the word judged then what you do is you take out this silent e and you add the syllable you want to add so you say j u d g e d 
And ED is a phonogram that can say ed or d or t. In this case, it says d, j, a, j, d, judged. Now let's take ledge and add the syllable er. So here we have the L that says O, the E that says E, and a D, G, E that says J. And we want to add the syllable E, R that says ER. Well, we just drop the silent E in ledge, and we get L, E, D, G, E, R. O -e -j -er. Now let's take the syllable midge and add the syllable et. So we have M I D G E plus the syllable et, E T, and that equals midget. So we're going to take the silent finally away and use M, I, D, G. Then we're going to keep the ET for et. M, E, J, E, T. Midget. Next we're going to take the syllable lodge and add ing to make a lodging. So we have an L that says O, an O that says A, a DGE that says J. We're going to add ING, ING, and we get lodging. We just delete that silent final E and combine the two syllables. O, A, a DG to say J, and ING to say ING. O, A, J. E ng lodging and last combination of syllables is the syllable smudge plus the syllable e for smudgy. Let's write smudge. That's with a s that says s, a m that says m, a u that makes the short u sound a. Uh. And then our DGE that says J, smudge, plus the syllable E that's spelled with a Y, Y that says E. You combine those, you just remove that silent final E and you say S, M, U, D, G, Y. S, M, A, J, E, smudgy. Lastly, let's look for the DGE phonogram in a poem titled Shepherd John from the book Rhymes and Jingles. With green letters, I've written the phonograms that you already know and can sound out. With blue letters, I've written the phonograms that we haven't covered yet. As we read, look for the word with the DGE phonogram. O, oh, Shepherd John is good and kind. O, oh, Shepherd John is brave. He loves the weakest of his flock. His arm is quick to save. But Shepherd John to Little John says, Learn, my laddie, learn. In grassy nooks still read your books, and I for knowledge burn. Read while you tend the grazing flock. Had I but loved my book, I'd not still be in shepherd's frock, nor bearing shepherd's crook. The world is wide, the world is fair, there's muckle work to do. 
I'll rest content a shepherd still, but grander fields for you. Did you see the word with the DGE phonogram? It was knowledge. Write this down. Knowledge is spelled with the KN phonogram that says N. Then O W L E D G E. Knowledge. Knowledge means facts, information, and skills acquired by a person. Right now, you're acquiring knowledge about the English language. You know a lot, but you can always learn more. And one way to keep learning is to look up words that you don't know in the dictionary. For example, you probably don't know what this word, muckle, means. Muckle is another word for much. So this line that says there's muckle work to do just means there's much work to do. This poem had some sight words in it that we've covered before. Let's take a minute to make sure you still know them. The first sight word is you. Y-O-U. Y-O-U says you. The next word is there. T-H-E-R-E. T-H-E-R-E says there. Do you remember those? I hope so. Well, that's it for today. Your assignment is to look for more words that you can read in the book titled Rhymes and Jingles by Mary Mapes Dodge. I hope you enjoy the assignment and see you again here soon at Story Hour Academy.